Hello. Thank you for asking what's on our um, Christmas menu. Um, so we have on Christmas Eve, we just have leftovers. Um, clear out that fridge. But for dessert, I make sweet noodle kugel, which ironically is traditionally a Jewish recipe. And I got this recipe from my grandpa's wife. Um, he remarried when I was um, a toddler because my grandma passed away. So this is his second wife's recipe. Um, and I make that for Christmas Eve dessert. And tradition is we eat some of that while we watch a Christmas story. Um, I think I, a couple either last year or the year before I made a video of how to make it. Um, most of what I say I've made videos on, I just, I still don't have playlists. It would be so much easier. I could just say, hey, check out the playlist. Um, anyway, so for Christmas breakfast, I make, it's called egg brunch casserole. And I have made it for Christmas breakfast since I took over Christmas cooking when I was 16. So I've been making this for 22 years for Christmas breakfast. Um, it started making it, I, I would only make one little pan and then my husband joined the mix and my kids, so now we make two pans. Um, and it's the only time of year we have it is Christmas. It just makes it more special. Um, and so for Christmas dinner, um, we have things I make every Thanksgiving and Christmas. They are givens, no questions asked. Those things are cranberry sausage stuffing, which my mom has made since I was a kid. Um, green bean casserole, a classic. And um, cheesy souffle, which is my husband's grandmother's recipe. Um, and you know, cranberry jelly and Hawaiian rolls. Those are givens, they'll always be on the table. Um, and then we add in something different every holiday. We don't do turkey and we don't do ham. Our family just isn't into those. So I made a meatball dish um, for Thanksgiving and the meatballs went over really well. So I'm like, let's do another meatball um, dish for Christmas. So I'm doing French onion meatballs in the crock pot. I'm a sucker for French onion anything, so you had me sold a French onion. Um, so yeah, crock pot French onion meatballs are like our main meat thing. Um, and then we're gonna try to do snow peas um, in the air fryer. Why not? Um, Cause I always like to do a, a different veggie every holiday. Um, and then my husband was like, can we have deviled eggs? Because he grew up with deviled eggs every holiday. And I was like, sure. That's why I made my deviled egg or hard-boiled egg question video. Because I knew we were having deviled eggs. Um, so that's dinner. And um, we aim for leftovers forever and ever. <laughs> now, dessert is my husband's gig. He is the lover of baking um and he starts baking like on the 23rd 24th some stuff the 25th um and he's making viennese rounds which is a family recipe um and my kids help decorate them that's a given and this year he's making um peanut butter blossoms and um, mint chocolate chip cookies but it's just like, you know, the cookie dough mix and adding in York peppermint patties, you know, semi-homemade type of thing. Um, and my, my son requested something with Oreo because he's not a fan of the other things. So I found a no-bake Oreo cake, like a refrigerator cake. And my husband is making a triple chocolate poke cake. Again, we aim for leftovers. So we have dessert and snacks for through New Year's. <laughs> so yeah, that is our holiday menu. Um, yeah, and then on New Year's, I make um, a beef stew in the crock pot. That was my dad's recipe. And I only started that tradition after my dad passed. Um, I know you asked Christmas, but let's throw in New Year's. Um, and I started making that as a way to still like incorporate his memory in the new year. So... 
the tradition is to make it on New Year's Eve and let it cook overnight and then we have it the next day for dinner and i um, also going to make a spinach dip in a bread bowl so that's New Year's you got a bonus <laughs> so yeah what are y'all making for um, your holiday meals make a video tag me leave a comment um, I love seeing what people make and what's tradition and um, yeah that stuff interests me okay I hope you're doing well I hope you are having a good week and I'll talk to you later. Bye.